It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. The saying goes that everything is bigger in Texas. Well, that includes the Ten Commandments too. Display of Ten Commandments. A public elementary or secondary school shall display a conspicuous plate in each classroom of the school, a durable poster or a framed copy of the Ten Commandments that meets the requirement of the subsection. A poster or framed copy of the Ten Commandments described by subsection A must include the text of the Ten Commandments as provided by subsection C and size and typeface that is legible to a person with average vision from anywhere in a classroom in which the poster or framed copy is displayed. It must be at least 16 inches wide and 20 inches tall. The Ten Commandments are not only a sacred text in the Jewish and Christian faiths, but they're also essential to direct secular issues, or more secular issues of just honoring one's parents, uh, not murdering, not committing adultery, not stealing, not bearing false witness, and not being covetous. Um, as a mom of seven, um, I, I homeschool because I see what's happening in the public schools, but it is my desire to see um, order and morality restored to the classrooms, it is. it will again be a place where people can feel safe sending their children. We must res restore a biblical standard to our educational system. Thank you. When people think about the Ten Commandments, they think about Exodus chapter 20, but that's simply not the case. There's over 613 different commandments within the Old Testament, and Exodus chapter 20 did not say that that particular set is actually the real Ten Commandments. Exodus chapter 34 says, I demand your complete loyalty. You must not worship any other god. You must not make treaties from the people there, or you'll find yourself worshiping their gods and taking place at their sacrificial meals. Your men must not even marry their women and influence to worship their gods. Do not make metal images of gods. Don't fail to observe the festival of stem bread. Obey me and eat bread without yeast for seven days because it's the month you left Egypt. The firstborn males of your family and of your flock and herds belong to me. You can save the life of a firstborn donkey by sacrificing a lamb. If you don't, you must break the donkey's neck. You must save every firstborn son. Bring an offering every time you come to worship. Work for six days and rest on the seventh day, even during seasons for plowing and harvesting. Celebrate the harvest festival each spring when you start harvesting your wheat and celebrate the festival of shelters each autumn when you pick your fruit. Your men must come to worship me three times a year because I am the Lord God of Israel. As a vans, I will forward the nations onto your lands and enlarge your borders. Then no one will try to take your property when you try to worship me these three times each year. When you sacrifice an animal on the altar, do not offer bread made with yeast and do not save any part of the Passover meal for the next day. I am the Lord your God, and you must bring the first part of your harvest to the place of worship. Don't boil a young goat in his mother's milk. The Lord told Moses to put these laws in writing as part of his agreement with Israel. Moses stayed on the mountain with the Lord for 40 days and nights without eating or drinking, and he wrote down the Ten Commandments, the most important part of God's agreement with his people. But let's just say for the sake of argumentation that Exodus 20 is the real set of Ten Commandments. Does it actually go against the United States Constitution? I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Thou shalt not make to thyself any graven images. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Well, you see, I believe in my whole heart that Zeus is actually real. And the main reason why I think that Zeus is real is because this book on Greek religion tells me so, and because this book of Greek religion tells me so, that's why I believe in Zeus. Also, this is the Bible I got when I was a kid, and this right here is Jesus Christ. Oh, wait a second. 
I'm not supposed to have, like, you know, graven images. Oh, sorry. I'm just so sorry. God damn it, why did I show that image of Jesus? Oh, oh no, I just broke another commandment right there. I just, I just broke it. Filthy sinner, honor thy mother and thy father. But what if your mom and your dad are jerks? Should you still actually honor your mom and your dad if they're jerks towards you? Thou shall not kill. But what about self-defense? Like sometimes you're in dire situations where someone wants to attack you and hurt you. And so I would say that killing and self-defense is actually justified. Thou shall not commit adultery. I actually agree with that whole entire commandment. Thou shall not steal. But what about stealing out of desperation? Yes, if a person is not in a desperate situation, I will say that stealing is actually wrong. But if somebody is actually poor and cannot have any type of food, any type of shelter, there might be an exception to the rule that stealing might be okay. And it's unfortunate that people are in that kind of situation to actually steal to actually survive for every single day. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, not his manservant, or his cattle, or anything that is thy neighbor's. The first four commandments is actually against the first amendment, largely because the first amendment states that people have a freedom of religion, which also includes the freedom to not practice religion. And so people, no matter their background, actually can practice whatever kind of religion and also, it goes against the idea of free speech because when it says, Thou shalt not use the Lord God's name in vain, it's actually covered to have blasphemy underneath the First Amendment. Now, keeping the Sabbath holy, there are some businesses like Chick fil A that do, in fact, close on a Sunday, but a lot of businesses also work on every single day, no matter a person's background. There are laws against stealing in this country, there's no laws against adultery in this country, and finally, the last thing that was on the list was that you cannot, of course, kill people. We have exception to the rule for killing people out of self-defense, other than that, though, I guess you can say that murder is, in fact, illegal in this country because killing and murder are totally different concepts. Now, this one right here says, not withholding sections B and C or any other law, a school district may employ a chaplain instead of a school counselor to perform the duties required of a school counselor underneath this title. A chaplain employed underneath this subsection is not required to be certified by the state board for educator certification. What's happening in Texas right now is clearly anti-constitutional and it's making the country more and more of a theocracy. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.